Okay, I've uh, finally reached um, the. It took me uh, almost half a day to get here. I'm currently standing at the uh, cemetery in uh, Groesbeck, uh, Netherlands. Uh, so, a little here, the cemetery is built and maintained by the Commonwealth War Graves. Uh, this cemetery contains burial gra burials gathered in and from the battlefields in Germany and southern Netherlands. Uh, Canadians, there are 2,338 Canadians. There's also a memorial as well. Um, so, uh, just a little, uh, here we are, we are right about here somewhere. Uh, Germany is not too far, Germany is about uh, just uh, a few miles uh, to the east of here. And what they're saying is that the, the Canadians came here, joined forces uh, with the uh, uh, British uh, troops as well. So uh, here's a little line of the uh, Canadian First Army and, uh, and the uh, British uh, as well. And uh, they were part of the liberation of uh, Belgium and uh, most of the country. So there's a couple of uh, memorials, some names on them. Um, here's a, uh, a stone in the center. We can read that. It says, uh, Their name liveth forevermore. There's a cross way over there, which is there. If you see my pictures. Now, I'm going to walk, uh, walk over to where my Uncle John is buried. Uh, you can see by the uh, it's uh, well kept. There's groundskeepers um, around. They're driving around. They plant flowers, or they cut the grass. I was just talking to a few of them. So uh, the rows are all numbered. Here is, uh, for example, here's 3A. So all the this this is block three here, um, and uh, that's uh, grave one, grave two, grave three, grave four, um, and way at the end over there is uh, uh, plot one, here's uh, two somewhere, and this is three. You got four over there, then five and six, uh, so on and so on. Then it starts back over there being seven, eight, and nine. So, uh, my uncle is uh, buried at nine, a two. So, like I said, Seven, uh, around seven, eight, and nine. So here's nine A, and here is the tombstone. Let's see if I can get a little shadow on there. I don't read it. Okay, and I placed here a mandala that uh, I asked Lita to make. Uh, before I was leaving, I, I asked her if she could make something so I could leave behind. and So she left a mandala in memory of Private uh, our Uncle John Henry Levine. Uh, she added uh, a Mi'kmaq native from Lisbon, Quebec, uh, for those who uh, do come by and uh, visit the cemetery, they'll know. I asked the groundskeepers, and they're going to leave that here until it uh, can no longer is pliable, or I mean, no longer together. Uh, they leave most uh, items here that people do leave behind until uh, they deteriorate over the sun or rain or the weather. So, so uh, here I am. I also uh, going to bring back uh, my aunt Lucille asked me to uh, bring back some uh, earth uh, in front of the grave. So I uh, collected that already. I also uh, went to the cross already. So uh, now to head back to uh, Brussels. Uh, Groesbeck is uh, about a uh, 10 minute uh, bus ride from uh, Nemegan and uh, I got to get back to Nemegan now, get on a train and uh, take a two hour train ride back to Brussels. So beautiful day, I'm sweating. It's about uh, 28 Celsius uh, today. It's about uh, 3.30 on a Monday 
Uh, so, should be back to Brussels. I'm going to guesstimate around 7, 7.30. There's a little uh, sign here. Grosbeck Canadian War Cemetery. The land on which the cemetery stands is a gift of the Dutch people for their perpetual resting place of the sailors, soldiers, and airmen who are honored here. Okay, now I don't know how they open this gate. Oh, here we go.